All right, welcome to bagpipemaster.com. My name is Josh Anderson, and today we're going to learn Flower of Scotland. So make sure you download, print your sheet music, and for this tune request, you can thank Scottish Bear. He left a comment on my website, so thank you, Scottish Bear. And let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, let's first look at the time signature. Since it's a 6 8, we know the 8 means the eighth notes get one beat, so this is an eighth note, that'll get one beat, and since there's a six there, we know that each each measure, and there's a measure, will get six beats throughout it. So we can actually count this out, and this is just kind of a pickup note here, so it doesn't count as the six in this measure, but it goes da da di da 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 and here, just to point out some of the movements, we have a F doubling, where as we're playing the F, we play a G grace note on the F, and then another G grace note. And then here, this guy is a throw on D, so we go from the E down to low G, play a D, go to C, and then back to the D. And then here, we can see that as we go from the D to the A, we just throw in a little tiny um, low G grace note. So it's a ba ba, just kind of dips down then to the low A, G grace note. All right, let's play that. One, two. Okay, good. So just pointing out a few of the movements there, we have an F doubling. And remember, as we're playing the F, then we go to play the F doubling, which is a G grace note, and then a second G grace note. So it'll look like this. But we're going to play it a little faster here. And then more up to speed. After we've completed that movement, then we go down to the E, and when we go from the E to the D, we're going to play a throw on D in there. And once again for the throw on D, we go from an E, low G, D, C, D. After that's completed, we're playing a D, we're continuing to play the D, and we drop from the D to the low G and then pop to the A. We just have a little low G grace note in there. Good. All right, the third and fourth measure. Let's just go ahead and hum through that and count out the beats. Da da di di da da di. So, once again, we have a throw on D here. Drop to the low G, D C D, and then here we go from the F down to the E and play an E doubling. So to play an E doubling, we play a G grace note on the E, and then an F grace note on the E. And then here we strike down to the low A by dropping the E finger, and then a, gra a grace note. Next two measures, we'll start from the pickup note. One, two. So in there we have another throw on D. And in the previous measure, we had that pickup note, the low A. Then we play a throw on D by dropping to the low G. D, C, D. After the throw on D, we go up to the F. And then from the F, as we go down to the E, we play that E doubling. And remember, at E doubling, we play a G grace note on the E, 
and then an F grace note on the E. Let's do that again. More up to speed. After that's completed, we have a little strike in there where we take our E finger, strike to the low A, and then pop back up to the E. Good. All right, let's go ahead and hum through the next two measures. Da 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 da. Good, so you can see that there's a few movements here. You know, we have an F doubling. We've done that before. But just a reminder, it's a G grace note on the F, and then another G grace note on the F. And this, we're going to hold for five beats. Three for that, dotted quarter, and then another two for this quarter note, and then an eighth note. And then here, um, we go from the F up to the G, but as we do that, we play this little doubling here where we go G, F, G. And then as we go from the G down to the F, we have to play an A grace note since we can't play a G grace note going down. And then as we go back up to the, the high A here, we just simply um, brush the A finger over the hole to create the G, A. So it goes A, G, A as we brush the finger over the hole. Second line, one, two. Good, so we included the pickup there. So from the pickup, we go to the F doubling. We've done that before, that's easy. Play a G grace note. Now, in the on the second line, the second measure in, we have an a G doubling, where as we're going from the F up to the G, we have a doubling in there. It looks like this. Now it might seem fancy, but really all it is is as we go from the F, we go play a G, F, G. That's it. A little slower. Good. Now after we've completed that movement, we have a, we're playing the high G, and when we go from the high G to the F, we play an A grace note as we go down. After that's completed, we're playing the F, then we go to the G, and then to the A, and when we play the A, we actually strike the A with our thumb, and it'll play a G momentarily, a G grace note there. Good. All right, the next two measures. Ba da bum be de 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 da de da da. Now here we have a throw on D. We've done this a few times, so we should be comfortable with those. And then we have an E doubling here. Once again, we play the G grace note on the E, F grace note on the E, and then we strike down to the low e, the low A by dropping the E finger, and then the rest of this is pretty easy. One, two. So in here, nothing too fancy. We have a throw on D. We know how to do that. We play a strike on the, or we play a doubling on the E. We did that in the previous line. We have a strike in there where we take our E finger, drop down to the low A, pop back up to the E, and then we just finish with a few notes and grace notes. So pretty easy line. Da da di da 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 
da. Now, this measure right here is very similar to this measure, but there's a few things that are different. There's actually two things. One, we don't go on a low A here, we go to an F. But the other thing that's different is on this doubling, this doubling is slightly different than what we've been playing. And the way that it's different here is, if you notice, this is actually an A grace note, whereas these guys use a G grace note. Now, the reason we use an A grace note here is we're coming from a high G. And if we're coming from a high G down to an F, it's not possible to play a G grace note, so therefore we play an A grace note. And there it is. Okay, let's play the next two measures. One, two. Now, as we talked about, these two measures are very similar to the first two measures on the first line, but just pointing out those differences here, um, since the previous note was a high G, we can't play a G grace note there, so as we go from the high G to the F, we lift our A finger, play an A grace note on the F, and then we continue the F, and then play a G grace note on the F, and that's an an F doubling, but it uses an A grace note. Again. A little faster. Good. Then we continue playing the F, go down to the E, and then from the E to the D, we're going to have another throw on D in there. After the throw on D, play a low G grace note, pop to the A. Alright, good. So here we have some more of these um, little doublings where we play a G, F, G as we're kind of going up to the G. And we've done this before right here. Da da! And we have an A grace note. We've done that kind of before there. And then we also do an A doubling. We've done that before. And remember the A. We're just simply kind of just sliding the A finger over the hole, which creates an F, and then back to the A. And then a throw on D. Yeah, this is all stuff that we've done before. Let's go ahead and play it. One, two. So in here, we have another F, or I'm sorry, we have another G doubling on the high G. We start from the F though. A little faster. Now this is all familiar. We learned this in the previous line, these movements. That should look very familiar. We did all those in the previous line. Then we continue with the throw on D. So good, we should know that line. Good, so we can see here another just doubling on the high G, F doubling where we play the G grace note on the F, G grace note on the F, throw on D, and then this little guy, as we're playing the D, we're gonna drop the D finger down to the C and then back to the D. One, two, So this last line, we have the measures, another G doubling, and then we just play down to, down the scale a little, F doubling, and remember the F doubling is super easy, it's just two G grace notes in a row. And we also have a throw on D. Now after those five beats, we have a little C grace note in there, 
and to, or it's more of a strike really, but it's just a C grace note and we drop our D finger to the C and then back to the D. A little faster. Good. All right, the last two measures. Da di da 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 da. Now here we have a throw on D, and this guy is just a strike on the D. Where as you're playing the D, you play a G grace note on the D, and then you drop down to the C and then back to the D. So G, C, and that's basically how you play a strike on the D. I'll show you on the chanter. One, two. Great. So we just end there, those last two measures. We have a throw on D, we know those. And the very last movement is a strike on D. And to play that strike on D, you basically are playing a D, play a G grace note on the D, and then a C grace note on the D. So it'll look like this. A little faster. More up to speed. Great. Okay, let's grab our chanters again. And with the metronome, let's go ahead and play through the entire tune. One. Hey, thank you so much for letting me share this tutorial and check out all my tutorials and lessons at bagpipemaster.com.